hi guys welcome back to the channel happy new year 2023 wow it's the first time that i'm posting after such a long time and i hope that you guys started your year well and nice to see you again on this platform so um if you're new here you are most welcome if you just joined the family then welcome to this platform and don't forget to like to comment to share to subscribe whatever and just let's keep on rolling so anyways uh today is my daughter's birthday so um like birthday parties actually being celebrated a little bit earlier because she has to go back to school but yeah that's just something that i needed to share with you guys and don't forget to leave your happy birthday wishes on the comment section down below just say happy birthday so lunch and yeah i'll make sure it gets to her so she's of course celebrating it in kenya with my uh, cousins and my sisters and her cousins and all that is just it's a nice little gathering at my sister's place i'm so excited anyway as i promised on um one of the few videos that i did the other time is that i would give you an update or i will share with you when i finally moved to <laughs> to my own apartment but yeah so the current update is that i'm still living <laughs> together with my boyfriend so what happened is on that very same day that i shared with you guys that i'll be moving to like a, another apartment giving you the update later that day we decided to cancel the whole thing because we just thought that at the end of the day it doesn't make so much sense because the funny thing is that the apartments were actually on the same block just like oh like a block away essentially same size same same style same everything is just that there were two different apartments and they are all two bedroom apartments and we just thought it doesn't really make any sense for us to be keeping two apartments and yet we will go we are obviously going to be spending more time on one of them and of course the main reason behind this was because we have we both have children from our previous relationships and we just thought that maybe it would be better to give them time to adjust to the whole situation before we now finally move in but at the end of the day the children had no issue and we just thought it is better we already spent three months together they were being, uh, they've been like a great time we spent a great three months together and just thought we can now officially move in so that is the update that we officially moved in living together <laughs> and doing life together so yeah that's the update and um, so far so good because i mean we have we're already living together for the last three months and now it's official so yeah that is what i needed to share with you guys and work has also been like uh, a lot picked up a lot since the last um like since the, the year started and that's the reason why i've not really been able to pick up a camera and vlog because i've been going like uh two times i've gone nine days before getting an off day something like that and it, it, the reason was like to push it to the point that i my off day is falling on a weekend so sometimes that needs to happen sometimes you you work then you get a, an off day after three days and sometimes you get an off day after a much longer time so and of course working and mostly uh, the afternoon shift then there was just really again no time to vlog but here i am today right now uh, today i started my leave i took a five day leave and it's actually officially starting on monday so five day leaves will leave monday to friday but for us if you take like a leave day close to the weekend then you automatically get the weekend off and then your leave days so that you have a longer like uh, leave duration so i have nine days out of work and i also got another day actually what happened um on thursday's day or was it on, on wednesday uh we had like a staff meeting for the front desk uh, for the front office department with our manager and all my colleagues but wow the meeting was taking such a long time and in between you know the breaks 
I took coffee and uh, chococino actually and I don't know it just reacted so bad during the meeting uh, towards the end of the meeting I just felt like I was struggling to breathe and then almost passing out and then had these cold chills and shivers and all that that I was told the following day to take a day off and go to the hospital so I went to the hospital and I was told that I might have caught COVID like the past uh, like two weeks ago or something like that that went undetected but the side effects was that it was causing like these heart palpitations because i've been feeling like heart heart palpitations in my stomach in my legs like my like pounding you know like heartbeat on or like all the odd places that i could think of so when i explained it to the doctor they said yeah this is the like uh, the heart palpitations are the side effects of covid that i got and i didn't even take note of it but i wouldn't say that exactly i did not um realize it I just did not think it was COVID, but I did lose the sense of taste, not entirely, but I couldn't taste salt. For two to three days, I was adding too much salt on food because I, I couldn't taste salt uh, on, on, on like this uh, salt crackers or uh, I was even having Pringles, these ones that are salted and normally I feel that they, they have salt, like they're so salty, but I couldn't taste the salt on them, they tasted flat. I was having like a, a pear. I felt like the pear had no taste. It's just could taste water. But I just thought, you know, maybe it was hormonal imbalance because my hormones are all over the place. So I thought it was maybe hormonal imbalance. I ignored it. Apart from that, I didn't have any other major symptoms like maybe difficulty in breathing or sore throat. Yes, I had like this mild, uh, maybe running nose or maybe mild sore throat. Everything was so mild, so I didn't point it out to. COVID ended up not even getting tested just continued going to work but around that time that I had these symptoms somebody had actually tested positive for COVID at work but I just assumed that I'm the kind of people that do not get COVID because I've never gotten COVID ever since uh, it started so I ignored it but anyway yes I did get COVID as according to the doctors because of when they did an, an EKG they call it EKG or something like that and uh, they said yeah that could be the the aftermath and taking coffee or alcohol just makes the heart palpitations worse but all in all I'm all I'm doing well now and the symptoms are of course going away no pain no nothing but yeah during the time that I had this uh, difficulty uh, like change of test in my mouth I also had some pains here and there I was also really tired I was just really wasted totally wasted when I come from work I can't do anything else I'm so tired or even when I could get to work in the morning the day would start and I'm already so tired and I was like man what is this but at the end of the day I'm okay I recovered uh, without knowing it so that I did not have to panic <laughs> to even make you know like you are alone in this part of the world and then you call your relatives and you're like oh I'm suffering from COVID-19 like I know my mom worries a lot and I'm just glad that it did not happen to the point that she had to know that I was like I had the, caught the infection or something and I ended up recovering without even noticing it and what i get to realize is that so many people maybe have actually gotten covid infection and it went away without them realizing it without any side effects of or all that but for me yeah i did have the heart palpitations my heart was uh, or like my body had been weakened so my uh, heart was really struggling to pump blood throughout my body and I could feel it in my stomach especially when I lie down I feel it in my stomach I feel it in my back I feel it in my legs I could feel it in my hands but again I'm okay so that was my start of the year otherwise everything well tomorrow I'll be traveling to Berlin because I mean I don't want to waste my entire um, wallop or holiday 
just sitting in the house so i'm gonna go to berlin visit my friend i'm gonna be staying there for like three days then come back finish the holiday from here so yeah so nice to have been able to pick up the camera and just hope that i can get the chance to keep up the spirit keep the channel alive you guys don't forget to like comment share subscribe let me just know like whatever your experience uh if you ever caught covid and how you knew uh, or if you never knew about it if you got to know about it later and if there are any other like repercussions that i need to worry about or uh, anything that i can do to prevent like the side effects that come with it because i really also feel like the attack was mostly on my stomach and i was so really my stomach was very uncomfortable so bloated i had like gastro gastrointestinal uh disturbance during this time and i had no clue what was going on no clue i had no clue and because it was hormonal i ended up going to the gynecologist who checked and said everything is fine until i went to now the a general practitioner that is when they got to detect that yeah yeah there was an infection there was a viral infection but it has now lapsed so guys thank you so much again for watching don't forget to do the needful and i will see you on another video bye